Okay, so the third versus the Hamburg Atlanteans on uh, this side is going to be Matt uh, versus Shreds. Matt is playing Tenebris of Loberum Prison. Um, nasty deck uh, if it gets the time to do what it does, which is basically it just um, archives all this uh, and then slowly for the Star Alliance, whatever. And so you're basically just endlessly cycling um, a pretty nasty set of Logos cards. Uh, and so it wants to slow the game down as much as it can. I mean, it's got help for that. It's got things like Orb of Invidious and um, uh, the Bloodshot Imp to, to, to punish the, the reaping. Um, meanwhile, what we're up against is Aki de Bomberuna de Einhard, the one we just saw. Um, same deck being played again. So, Matt's difficult is this is quite a fast deck on the Amber. So, it really needs to sort of try and get a grip on. Getting the cards out, uh, basically, to, to try and slow the game down, but or to try and get that amber off, which is not easy, because Tenebris, other than the e dice, doesn't have much to do that. So it's can Matt set up e dice early um, to punish the costs? If you can't punish the costs, and and um, Shreds gets to make his keys at six, it's going to be very, very difficult. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Uh, Shreds to go first. <laughs> free Amber straight off the bat. Um, so let's have a look at how Matt responds to that. We didn't see a mulligan, so, if, so I, we, we may have um, sort of uh, e dies ready to go, or in, as it has happened, like, there was a whole ton of uh, Star Alliance. Setting up for if there is a frame, frame to come in, capture one, and then move the blaster over to steal it. Oh, that is not a good, not a great start for Matt. Ouch. Um, has he got an Edai? Hopefully, there's an Edai, maybe an Edai and a Tau Tau to at least make Shreds pay eight. I think we did tout out earlier if, the, if there's going to be one. No. Okay, so we've, so we've taxed a little, but not a lot. And why did, why did Matt play the tout out after the... I guess trying to cycle the Edo if he can? Um, yeah, Shreds is just burning for the Amber as fast as possible here. Oh, I'm hoping to get it in before you, the Edo's get too big. Oh, I was giving the pump seed for Virtuous Works maybe. So maybe Matt's got an exhum in hand, which is why he doesn't mind the e die dying so early. Um, this we need to punish that reap. So if you've got a uh, invidious or a blood shard, oh, excellent! Poltergeisting in a pemp seed. Uh, just a shame he couldn't kill the e die first. Ah oh, well. Past turn, yeah, all Matt could do, but killing that in the pemp seed was, was was pretty good. It finished the shred. Whilst it, it, you know, it, it's not nice to have lost it. Um, it, it Matt couldn't really get back anything particularly, um, you yeah, know, particularly powerful at this juncture. So Matt's got a breather. Oh no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. It's gone to seven. Uh, what happened there? What did I miss? Anyway, Matt's not got a breather. It's oh, ghostly hand again. Ghostly hand again. So, can Matt make him? No. Uh, don't think Matt's going to be able to make him pay. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. yeah, even if he has a frame, he's only going to capture one. Um, Shreds get second key already. Uh, it's not, I must admit, it's not looking great for Matt. He's, he's only got one card in archive, so his E-Dies are not huge yet. Still, he has got an Ingram out to help ward his E-Dies. Oh, blimey, another two from the Dust Pixie. Go! I mean, Stone Lice doesn't even look too bad at this point. Unfortunately, the problem you've got is that Ritual of Balance now is is going to effectively every time you get to check, it's just going to steal one. Okay, Matt's got to be pretty confident he can get another e die back if he's laying one down. I guess he might have the Exhum in hand, um, or possibly even the third e die in hand. Can he swirl his own walls? Oh, okay, he's going to swirl that. Okay. So we've got an E-Die. Key cost is 9. It's not looking terrible. Um, his shred's about to run out of gas because I say his Sanctum turns... Except the glorious few, there you go, glorious few for five. And then they all die too. Spirit's way. So I need to get that Edi back, or an Edi of some description. Um, to pump the cost to ten. Has Shreds got any more Amber? Right, right, Matt's really on the ropes now. Um, e die in a Tau Tau. Tau Tau. Can you get the E die? There we go. Oof, just, just held off. Um, So, Hologramophone wards it. Is that the extent of Matt's turns? Have we got any more Logos? No, that's it. Hanging on by the skin of his teeth. So, you know, it depends how much Amber Shreds can get this turn. Um, obviously, there's two Edis in the discard pile already. Not much left in Matt's deck, but... Yeah. Uh, just thinking now, he needs... He's got the Exhum. We've not seen the Exhum go by. It might be in the archives, but... Yeah, if the Exhum's not... He get, that gets him one of those back. If shreds obviously if shreds takes more than two amber this turn, that's what Matt needs to do. Just the one amber. So we know we're okay if we go disc because we can archive with the library. I wonder if the evil eye was premature. 
don't know. So, let's check. You can have one stolen off him if, you, if Shreds goes untamed. Difficulty of Shreds having those split houses. Uh, you can only kill one Edai. Um, I mean, Matt's... I say if one Edai is killed though and Shreds piles up the Amber, Matt's um, impossible difficulty. Yeah, obviously, Matt would like to get back into Logos to hologramophone at least one of them. Kills an Edai, captures one. Matt goes to six. Is he going to get his key? No, he's going to get a dead Edai, which is the perils of having them both out. Uh, and that is probably game. I think all three Edais are in the discard. Um, uh, yeah, Matt's conceded. Yeah, so a loss this round. A 2-1 loss to our team. Um, yeah. Oh, well, we'll have to see how we do next round.